make it work. All right, like I said, so everything is better with a fist in it. Right? You stay, the basic take take down from take down from today. Take away from today. Right? Take that top bomb. Hit that gift wrap. I want to get my fist in there. It's not working. Right? Yeah. He's defending whatever he's doing. Okay. To keep that arm out. So I'm not going to keep trying for it. This is the usual position you'll get from the from the um, gift wrap once people are, are used to you trying to do this on them. Okay, so instead I'm going to dive underneath his arm and I'm going to actually make a little bit of space behind him. Okay, to make him think his only option is to roll back to his back. So as he does, I drop my shoulder in behind his elbow, tuck my arm underneath, take my hand out, and drop my head. Right, now I'm in a nice mount, I've got a nice head and arm set up. Remember, my head is always staying behind that elbow. I'm trying to keep that arm across his neck. Okay, if he start, starts putting his elbow to the ground, trying to get his elbow out of there, and I trap it to his head, he can sit there for a long time, and I can squeeze and drive and all this crap, right? As long as his arm is tucked next to his head, I'm just wasting energy. I also want to make sure my shoulder's not up on his face. You see the difference mm -hmm. between here and here? It's a small difference, but up here, I can't get to his artery, right? His chin is in the way. I've got to be underneath that, and then I drive up, to get my head towards his head to his head right now hands there's a lot of different ways people like to finish this my personal preference is palm to palm elbow tight and then I roll my wrists to pull my other elbow through the thing you'll see with most successful head and arm tri triangles is this far elbow has to be on the ground right if I'm here and I start driving with my shoulder but my elbow comes up it sucks but it's not gonna finish it Right? I want to keep that elbow on the ground and I roll my wrist as I squeeze my head to his body. Boom. Right? Pushing his arm across his neck. Right? Keeping my elbows tight. Squeezing my elbows together. Head to his head. And I roll my wrist. Right? And you should be able to do it just that slow. Cool? This can get through a, a, a phone. Somebody's answering the phone to keep their arm away. All I'm trying to do is get their shoulder to their neck. I don't care where their arm is. If I'm under the chin, and I can get that shoulder to the neck on the other side where the arm is really doesn't matter. Is there any bicep flexion in there to like finish it or is it just end. all just okay. a little bit at the end? Okay. Yeah, but it's not like I'm like I'm trying to be jacked at the end. Right. Yeah. Right. Like Chrissy. Do you need to see it or you good? I think I'm good. Okay. So I get my hit my triple mount here. And whenever if you like head and arm triangles, you can go right to it from here. Right? I'm pulling to get him to pull back. Right? As he pulls back, I just drop in below it. Hug, make sure my weight's on this side so he doesn't explode over that direction trying to take me over, right? Exactly, I gotta keep my weight back. Other hand comes out, palm to palm, then I sprawl. Weight settles back till my shoulder's underneath his chin. A good rule of thumb is to try to get your shoulder to their chest and then slide up, right? So my shoulder comes up, my head comes up, I sprawl back, roll my wrist, and squeeze. If you wanna go to the neon belly or the, the belly down one, you can. The more I can stay on top of them, the harder it is to start employing some of those defenses, like going around his leg or whatever it might be. Cool. One, two, three.